Hi, this is Linda Miner, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Genesse Global's Reserve product. In particular, I'm going to be talking about an ingredient called resveratrol. And as you uh, learn more about this product and this ingredient, you're going to understand why it is so important for our health. So why is resveratrol so good for us? Well, I'm going to go through what the clinical studies tell us. First of all, let's talk about the dosage of resveratrol in the Jeunesse Reserve. It's 186.57 milligrams. Now, when you look at the package, it says that there's 75 milligrams. That's what you'll see on the ingredient list. However, an independent clinical study showed uh, that the actual amount that shows up in the product is 186.57 milligrams. So advanced botanical consulting and testing tested the reserve product, and that's what they found. So the reason for that is that although only 75 milligrams was put in the reserve, the other ingredients in this product synergistically work together to boost that amount and bring it up to 186.57. This is a very significant amount. The other thing that I would also point out is that the resveratrol in the Jeunesse Reserve is in the liquid form. And clinical studies tell us that the liquid form is the most readily, readily absorbed and most highly effective form of resveratrol. So let's get to the studies. So the first one is on the effect of resveratrol on fat mobilization. Now, I'm not going to read all of this information. There's some pretty big words here. You can pause it and even go to the clinical study, which is referred to in the bottom right-hand corner for more information. But just a few of the highlights. Resveratrol alone was shown to improve resistance to weight gain caused by a high-fat diet. It not only decreased weight gain, but also inhibited bone loss. So what's interesting about that was they weren't studying bone loss, but that was one of the additional results that was found in this study. Next study, the effect of resveratrol on blood pressure, a meta-analysis of random controlled trials. So what we found here was they tried two different dosages of resveratrol, and the higher dose of resveratrol consumption significantly reduced SBP, which is systolic blood pressure. That's the one that you want to have lower. And you can see the dosage here is 150 milligrams. As I already mentioned, the dosage in our reserve is 186. So resveratrol consumption significantly decreases systolic blood pressure at the higher dose. A new study validates longevity pathway. Now this was a study that was done at Harvard and it showed that resveratrol directly activates a protein that promotes health and longevity in animal models. And if we look further down, it says that it protects the body from diseases by revving up the mitochondria. The mitochondria is, is the engine that makes our, our cells run. And uh, this slows down as we age. So it's very exciting to see that it's revving that up. The next study, one-year consumption of a grape nutraceutical containing resveratrol improves the inflammatory and fibronolytic status of patients in primary prevention of cardiovascular disease. So the resveratrol-rich grape supplement significantly decreased high-sensitivity C-reactive protein. C-reactive protein is uh, what shows up in our body when we have a lot of inflammation, and inflammation, of course, it leads to all kinds of disease, including cardiovascular disease. So in conclusion, a one-year consumption of a resveratrol-rich grape supplement improved the inflammatory and fibronolytic status in patients who were on statins, which are cholesterol-reducing drugs, for primary prevention of cardiovascular disease and at high CBD risk. So a dietary inter intervention with grape resveratrol could complement the gold standard therapy in the primary prevention of cardiovascular disease. So you can see resveratrol is being studied for a number of different things. This next one is on insulin sensitivity. Resveratrol improves insulin sensitivity, reduces oxidative stress, and activates the AKT pathway in type 2 diabetic patients. So after the fourth week of uh, using the resveratrol supplement, resveratrol significantly decreased insulin resistance 
This is extremely important for people who are diabetic. The present study shows that for the first time that resveratrol improves insulin sensitivity in humans, which might be due to a resveratrol-induced decrease in oxidative stress that leads to a more efficient insulin signaling via the AKT pathway. Diabetes is affecting a huge percentage of the population in North America and around the world. And in fact, with the uh, Southeast uh, Indian population, the World Health Organization calls it a world health crisis. Dietary supplementation with resveratrol reduces plaque pathology in a transit, transgenic model of Alzheimer's patients. So we've got, so we have diabetes, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and and you know the just amazing number of studies being done with resveratrol. So it diminished plaque formation in a region specific manner. This study supports the concept that onset of neurodegenerative diseases may be delayed or mitigated with the use of dietary chemopreventive agents that protect against beta amyloid plaque formation and oxidative stress. And that's what the resveratrol is doing. Here's another study on Alzheimer's, promotes clearance of Alzheimer's disease amyloid beta peptides. So the amyloid beta peptides, I know that's a big word, but that's what's causing the problems in the brain that can lead to Alzheimer's. So the resveratrol um, markedly lowers the levels of secreted intracellular amyloid beta peptides produced from different cell lines. And so this uh, natural compound has therapeutic potential in Alzheimer's disease. One more study here, effects on memory performance. And this is in particular in healthy older adults. So we observed a significant effect of resveratrol on retention of words over 30 minutes compared with the placebo. The resveratrol improves memory performance in association with improved glucose metab metabolism and increased hypocampal FC in older patients. So exciting. All of these studies that are showing the numerous effects that resveratrol can have on our body. So if you're looking to improve your health, then you definitely want to be taking resveratrol. And Jeunesse Global's Reserve is one of the best sources that you are going to find. Again, it has 186 milligrams in the liquid form. This is the product that I would recommend everyone to be taking. My name is Linda Miner. I'm a registered nutritional counselor, certified clinical nutritionist, and that is my recommendation for today.